hello everyone i'm so so glad to have you here thank you for coming to class please just stay on as we take this topic today today we are going to be looking at a topic titled software development process as usual we are going to start by looking at the objective we hope to achieve in this class the objectives are at the end of this class we should be able to explain the meaning of a software we should be able to state the categories of software we should be able to explain what is software development and then we should be able to explain the processes of software development so we hit the ground running by looking at the very first objective which is the software what is a software let me start by saying that a computer system comprises of both the software and the hardware a software is that part of the computer that you can see running but you cannot touch physically why the hardware is that part of the computer that you can touch but in class today we are looking at the software the software is defined as a set of instruction and data that tells a computer what to do it is also defined as a collection of program data and instructions that enables a computer to perform specific tasks or functions. Summarily, we can say the software is that part of the computer that enables the hardware to function properly. So we move to the next objective, which is the categories of software. We have two categories of software. We have the system software and we have the application software. The system software includes programs that controls the basic operations of a computer such as the operating system, the device drivers and utility programs. This system software enables the functionality of the hardware. Then the application software on the other hand includes programs that are designed to perform specific tasks or functions such as word processing you have Core draw for designing you have spreadsheet management you have starter uh, spss for data analysis and so on and so forth these two categories of software enables the hardware of the computer system to function very well permit me to also state here that the application software enables the system software to function properly. Normally, in writing either of application software or uh, system software, they are written by a variety of programming language. And such programming languages include maybe Java, Python, C++, and so many other programming languages that we have. But we should also note that when this system software or application software are installed into the system, it enables the functionality of that computer system. These softwares are installed in the computer system. They can also be installed in mobile devices or even server. And the purpose of this software is to automate tasks to process data and to perform complex computations efficiently. We now move to the next objective, which is what is software development? Software development is the process of creating computer software, applications, and programs that are used to perform specific tasks or functions. It can also be defined as the entire process of designing, writing, testing, and maintaining the software throughout its life cycle. The process of software development can vary depending on the type of software that needs to be developed and the methodology to be used. There are different processes. It all depends on which software you are developing. But basically, the process involves different stages and the type of software you are developing will determine the stage or the number of phases or processes you are going to go through. Basically, we have general processes or stages that are required for the software development process and we are going to look at some of those stages in the course of this class number one we have requirements gathering that is the first process in this process the requirements for the software application are collected from the stakeholders such as the end users the managers and other stakeholders this particular requirement gathering phase includes identifying the project goals defining the scope of the project 
and determining the software functional and not functional requirement what do we want to achieve what do we want to develop what kind of software which solution will this software be producing gather the necessary requirement then we move to the next stage or phase which is the design phase in this particular phase the software architecture is designed and a detailed plan for the software development process is created this design phase also include creating a system specification you can also create a detailed design documents in some cases even a prototype of the software can also be developed or created all these fall under the design stage of the software development the next stage is the implementation stage in this particular stage the software application is built this implementation stage also involves the coding and the building of the particular software to be developed usually the coding is done in programming language and then software is tested using different testing method to detect and to remove whatever errors that may be there in the software from this implementation stage we move to the next stage which is the testing stage this particular phase of the software development involves testing the software to ensure that it meets the requirements and works as expected don't forget for every software that is being developed it is meant to meet users expectation so at this particular test stage the software is tested to see whether it works as expected whether the initial expectation is being met this particular testing phase also includes the functional testing performance testing the security testing and other testing methods that need to be involved to ensure that the software meets specification as soon as the software is tested and meets the necessary requirement, the next stage comes to play, which is the deployment stage. At this phase or stage, the software application is deployed and released to end users. This particular phase also involves preparing the software for release, creating user manual, and also training users on how to use the software. Don't forget, it is a new software. A lot of persons may not be familiar with the workability of such software. So this deployment stage involves such preparations such as you are training the people, letting them know what the software is used for and how they can use it to meet their user's expectation. You can also come up with a manual so that they can look at the manual they use it. In the process of the deployment of the software, certain limitations may be observed. These limitations will be properly taken care of through the next phase, which is the maintenance. Every software that has been deployed must be maintained from time to time. And what does this maintenance mean? It means updating the software from time to time, adding new features, providing support to end users, and so on and so forth. Then sometimes some bugs or errors may be noticed as users begin to deploy this software. Such errors are removed and improved through the maintenance process. And permit me to also let you know that the maintenance process is a continuous process to enhance the workability of the software. I want to conclude this class by letting us know that each phase of the software development process is iterative. By that, I mean that it is possible or there may be need to go back to a previous phase if errors or issues are identified. The software development process is typically managed by an expert or a project manager or there may be a team called the software development team. Permit me to also let you know that these processes that have been outlined are not exhaustive but they are just to make us understand the processes that are involved in software development. Like I said earlier, some processes may be longer than this depending on the type of software that needs to be developed, while some other processes may be shorter. So basically, these are the processes. So we have been able to state in this class that the process of software development includes requirement gathering, which is the process of collecting necessary information from the stakeholders, the end users, so as to know what to develop and the specification which the software we meet. Then we said the design phase, which is 
the space that has to do with the architectural design uh, and detailed plan of the software development process. We also said that at that design phase, that the system specification, the design documents, and so on and so forth, even up to the extent of creating the prototype, is carried on in that design stage. Then the implementation stage, we said that at this particular stage of the implementation, the coding and the building of the software takes place at this implementation stage and we did say also that the implementation stage is that particular stage where the software is also tested to see if there are errors and such errors are removed then we said the testing phase is where the software is actually tested and we did say that there are different types of tests that can be carried out such as the functional testing to see whether it is functioning the performance testing security testing and a whole lot of other testing methods to ensure that the software meets the specification then we talked about the deployment of the software phase which is the phase where the software is released to end users the training phase and so on and so forth to ensure that users know how to use the software to meet their expectation then we talked about the last stage which is the maintenance stage it has to do with the adding of new features and fixing of every errors trying to upgrade the program to meet users expectation so with this we come to the end of class today i want to thank you for coming on board please if this is your first time of coming to my channel i want you to hit the subscribe button and also can like the video and hit the notification bell so that when i release more videos you get notification of such videos and you receive them thank you for watching thank you for coming to class see you in the next class thank you very much